hello welcome back to another allotment vlog welcome to the poly tunnel where it is incredibly warm i made a mistake with some footage and i accidentally deleted a bunch of footage so i wasn't able to make a video last week um and to be honest my time here has been a little bit sporadic because uh, it was half term and the weather wasn't great and I didn't need to come up here and do any watering because it rained <laughs> so yes yeah, so I'm in the polytunnel I have just watered my tomatoes because they are all starting to get flowers so this one's got I don't know what this variety is this is the side where I have no idea <laughs> but that one's got flowers this one has flowers as well oh they all have flowers there you go they're all starting to flower and yeah I'm really worried about the pollination if nothing gets in here like are they gonna grow tomatoes because I kind of left one side of the flap up so that things can get in here but I'm not entirely sure to be honest like this one has had flowers and they've died and it does have a little bit like this side has a little bit of a like a bulbous thing going so I'm hoping that it turns into a tomato um if not I might just have to kind of fashion the polytunnel so that it's sort of half rolled I might do that anyway today just so that it gets some air because it's going to be really warm um Oh yeah, look. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the marmande. So the big beef tomatoes, this one is. Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that is, oh my God, so exciting. Um, a few of my leaves on this plant have got a little bit eaten. Um, I think that's where I've kept the tunnel sort of this side open, this flap open. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This one's got so many um, flowers coming. What is this one? This is a sweet million. This one. So the Mamand has actually got a tomato growing. That one, maybe not. I don't know. This one, oh yeah, there's a tomato growing there as well. Oh my gosh, it smells so good as well. Yay. So hopefully these ones will. This one is the sun gold, so these ones really need to get some tomatoes going. My green zebra doesn't have too much going on with it. It's got no flowers coming yet, but this one's a lot smaller than the others as well. But the crimson cocktail, this one has a few flowers. So what I'm gonna do is there's quite a few like little suckers growing. So um, which ones have suckers? Like this is a big old sucker here. There we go. I just pop them back into the soil. I don't know whether that's what you're supposed to do, but I've always done that, and it's always been fine. I'm pretty good at getting the rest of the suckers out this guy's got a few now they're getting quite big and now they actually have some flowers um i do want to take them out now i have also just watered these with some of my nettle tea uh so hopefully that will do them some good i think that's fine they're fine don't you just like love after tomato hands when they're just like all green and they smell so good. My plot neighbour over but bar one gave me some tomatoes as well, these little ones. I'm not sure the variety, I think he said that there were some like black tomatoes, various other things, so I've got five other tomatoes that I'm going to pot up when they get just a smidge bigger maybe. But I need to go around and tie some string to support some of these some more. 
my cucumbers as well no cucumbers yet unfortunately but they are starting to get like quite nice prolific leaves which is good and all of my other plants here are doing well so these peas can go out soon hopefully I'm gonna put some netting around them so they stay protected but I want them to get just a smidge bigger first everything here like my chilies are starting to get some flowers as well so this is a zitava pepper I potted up some of the smaller peppers that were in these smaller pots into these larger ones and they're doing really really well as are my aubergines now look at that such nice leaves so I've got three aubergine plants uh, these beans need to go out which I'm not sure is a job for today maybe because I don't think the slugs will be able to get the leaves up this high so I maybe put these beans out and I need to put some of these courgettes and pumpkins out so the footage that I deleted was actually me manuring oh look what is that oh it's a bean <laughs> was me manuring the squash bed and um, getting it all ready for planting and actually planting some tester squashes and stuff so see if they get they get eaten which they haven't I'll show you in a second but these ones are all starting to get like little flower buds and stuff so they definitely need to go out so they can get some nice big plants and my sweet corn have started doing really well there's quite a few people here today so <laughs> I'll probably just voice over um, when I'm outside for you guys because I get really nervous still filming when there are people outside. Um, but I did actually make a little bit of a harvest when I came in some holidays with my son. There were some peas from those very pathetic looking peas. There were quite a few pea pods. So I harvested some as well as some chard. And I'm pretty sure today, we'll have a look in a second, pretty sure that my spring onions are ready to pull. So, let's go and take a look. These beans are doing quite well. They are slowly growing up. So, these were... Hmm, Bellotti beans, I think. This one's slowly coming back to life as well. But there's quite a few that I need to replace. The beans that I planted over there, they, they vanished. <laughs> so I need to put some beans in over there, as well as putting my runner beans on the rest of these. But look at these sugar snaps. There are some pods, like this is ready for picking, to be honest. That is a perfect sugar snap. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pick these ones so that it continues to flower. These bits have got a little bit decimated, but there's lots and lots of flowers and everything coming on here. Like, look at how beautiful these flowers are. Gorgeous. There's another pod. There's another pod. These radishes are slowly growing <laughs> they'll be ready soon hopefully but this is what I did oh I also made my arch for them but these ones I planted and they're doing okay I put some onions near them um, just to see if that would help deter some creatures this one's okay, it's growing some new leaves. That one I didn't expect to do well, but maybe it'll perk up. Um, but I'm gonna put in two squashes and some over there as well. And then the rest of the courgettes in because they desperately need to go in. Um, that may be all that I get done today, but we'll see. I mean, look at these spring onions. These are ready for picking I think I'm going to yeah this one
I've got five sugar snaps and five spring onions and some greens because I pulled the tops off of some of them but this is some of the chard that I harvested and it's getting very big now I would pick some but it wilts before I get home so I'm gonna leave it there but spinach and stuff is fine these could probably be picked these spinach leaves especially these baby ones let's pick some spinach preferably the leaves that haven't been eaten my makeshift bucket because I didn't bring a bucket I didn't think that there would be stuff ready to pick but there is these ones where the peas are harvested the other day you can see that there's like tiny tiny pods <laughs> I left a few on and still producing flowers this one um, there's some pods there so I'm gonna leave them a bit longer over at the beetroot there are tiny tiny beets here oh, it just looks so good this one's got a bit of a bigger beet on it but I'm excited for these ones the golden ones aren't doing very much oh they've got some some beets there hmm but <laughs> the one thing that does need picking because they're all starting to fall over now are my broad beans because some of them are bloody massive um I hope that they're ready for picking I don't know I might pick one and see what's inside maybe this bloody massive one here feels really mushy inside I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to feel like oh, the pods feel so soft there is a broad bean I don't know if I'm supposed to let them get bigger I might just leave them for now I'm not sure I might google it quickly but I've only got five more minutes <laughs> and haven't done any of my planting so I'm gonna have to come back another day and do the planting but I guess this is just a small update potato flowers I'm hoping that there's some delicious potatoes growing and it's starting to flower so that's good how good is that <laughs> The first harvest. Oh my god. I'm so excited. This spinach. I'm just gonna eat that now. And then some beans with these spring onions. Look at them. <laughs> Little babies. Okay, so a slightly different um, ending <laughs> for today's vlog. Um, because I wasn't expecting to harvest a few things. So, yay, my second official harvest, my first harvest for you guys. <laughs> so, oh, I'm just so excited now. I will come back to you guys with another vlog where we'll plant out the squash. I might come back tomorrow and do it, or Thursday. But I'm going to give everything a quick water with the watering can. Um, leave some of these sitting in some water as well so they can really soak it up and look at the state of my hands there was some black fly on my broad beans and I've like tried to scrape them off but unfortunately I have squished a few um, but yeah everything's growing really well I also bought a thermometer for the polytunnel currently it's 35 degrees in here so blooming hot um but yeah i'm gonna water everything and then come back to you guys in another vlog 
where we will plant out the squash and the beans, I promise. And I'll probably go to the garden centre and get some other bean plants to sacrifice to the slugs as well. But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.